Okay, guys. Sorry it took me so long to get back. It was, uh, it was a lot of things. But, you know what? We'll get to that later. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys how I finished up my laboratory build. The remainder of this build is just painting. Um, I added a new uh, technique that I, I don't know if I'll continue to keep doing. Um, also, I had some mistakes. This channel is about three things. Learning, teaching, and building. And if we have some fun along the way, that would be alright too. And now with all that out of the way, I'm gonna go make some. Here's a look at the supplies and tools I used. Bob sticks, paints and brushes, some Mod Podge, and a bunch of glue. First off, we need to combine the Mod Podge and paint. I learned this from Jeremy at Black Magic Craft. This is a really cool technique. It allows me to put down a ceiling coat and a base coat all at once. Talk about a time saver. Once this is all mixed up, we need to coat almost everything in this except for the 3D printed pieces. After the paint and Mod Podge dries, we add some color. The walls, countertops, and floor will be getting based in a nice rich blue, and the pipes will get a dark gray and a dry brush of silver. Look at that beautiful dry brush. It really makes the details pop. We coat everything in this beautiful Deco Art Americana Sapphire Blue paint. I primed the 3D printed pieces and then coated them with an aluminum spray paint. The backs and sides of the counters looked a little rough so I got some cereal box and cut it down and glued it to make it look more finished. 
I had a tricky time trying to get the three I-beams put together. This is where a bunch of hot glue and the kebab sticks came in. This made a really strong bond and I'm really glad how it turned out. The control panel needed to be recessed, so I pressed it into the foam, marked it where I needed it, and then chopped it out to make a little hole. After the glue and the I-beam set up, I attached some cereal box cardboard as banding. I needed the banding to lay flat, so hot glue was out of the question. I used my trusty super glue, and this really helped out. Super glue actually absorbs into the cardboard and makes it a really sturdy piece. Then we add some silver paint to make it look like one full piece. Oh, everyone's favorite part, dry brushing. Dry brush is where you remove all the paint from the brush and just lightly brush over the piece. And this picks up the highlights and really brings the piece to life. We're gonna put some black paint behind the glass on the door to help give the illusion that there's a room on the other side. We're gonna do this for both of the vents as well. Now we're gonna attach the vents that we made from the printed out images that we glued to cereal box cardboard. If you ever glue anything to smooth plastic, you're going to want to rough it up so the glue has something to grab onto. Black wash is very helpful with bringing your piece to life, but I didn't want to overdo it. I take a gentle approach with applying it to all of the project. To help create more dimension, I dry brush the corners where everything meets to give us some shadows. Assembly time! I add hot glue to the door, the control panel, and the door keypad. I use hot glue for the vents, but with their contact with the wall being so small, I also use some super glue. The super glue will help keep the vents in place while the hot glue is setting up. I coat the exposed foam with a flat black paint, as well as on the walls where they meet in the corner. Once everything is dry, I take it outside and this is where the mistakes happen. 
coated everything in a final sealing coat of matte clear coat spray paint. And apparently I was too close. Created these little dimples on the surface on a few pieces and ate all the way through the paint on others. And guys, this really bummed me out. But I took a break, I came back even more charged to finish. And luckily the damage was so small, it was easy to cover with just another coat of black on something and blue on others. And finally, after my little clear coat fiasco, let's see the reveal. So there we go guys, what'd you think? Tell me down below what you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see more of. So about the delay, here's what happened. Artist Black. I feel like I hit this wall that I couldn't get through and do you ever feel sometimes when you're working on a project and you just feel stuck like you hit a wall? Like, lost all motivation something that just stops you that mental block is something that keeps us all from finishing a project and that was me uh, the self-doubt fear of judgment um, just not being motivated it was it was bad and that's what took so long and again i apologize these mental blocks are frustrating but take a breath not just breathing but take a step away from the project Allow yourself to recharge, you know, go for a walk, get outside, change the scenery. All these things can help out. But know that we also have a community of people who are like-minded, just like you. Just know that you're not alone. Mental blocks like this are something that all of us and the community of like-minded people, artists, makers, we know all too well. So we're here to listen. If you have a mental block or you have overcome a mental block, you know, leave a message down below. I'd love to listen. Maybe we can talk and maybe you can help me, I can help you. So for the next video, I'm gonna make it a shorter one. These two parters are fun, but they're bigger builds and with the bigger build, it tends to take longer and that's not what I want. I wanna get more videos out for you guys um, so I can teach you guys and I can learn more stuff and we can just have fun together. So I actually have a little bit of something. Um, I'm gonna be using this in my next video. That's all I'm gonna give you. It's a little bit of a teaser. But I appreciate everything, and again, with the the, the algorithm talk, I know it's, a, it's boring, you guys can skip ahead if you want, but we're at the end of the video, so. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, honestly, it does help. It, works to help me get seen by more people so it's not just for you it's for the guy who hasn't seen me and like some other guys that are doing the kind of thing i'm doing so i really appreciate everyone who's done it so far now it's time to go i'll see you guys next time chapter four bye i'm not gonna call that